I've just started getting facials for the first time, which I hear is a good thing. Hello. Chances are, if you're watching this, it's your first time on my channel. If so, welcome. I'm Andre, and this is the beauty of where I describe in a totally non-thirsty, innocent, and respectful manner why I find these women attractive. Disclaimer, while I will be including facts about their careers, a significant portion of what I'm about to say is largely based on my perception of these people. Remember, these are celebrities. We don't really know who they are, only who we think they are. It was only right that I made Jennifer Love Hewitt the subject of the first episode because she was my first crush, back when I didn't even know what the word crush meant. Thanks largely in part to her performances in 2002's forgotten Jackie Chan film, The Tuxedo, and 2004's embarrassment of a hit, Garfield. Both of these films were bad, but as a kid, I liked them a lot. Something that stuck out to me even back then was just how gorgeous Miss Hewitt was. I'm not an expert on facial and body structures, but I describe her as being petite with some buxom features. I think you know which features I'm talking about. Another reason why I like Jennifer is because of her glistening brown eyes. Something that's a personal liking of mine is simple beauty. That's something that I can find and appreciate whenever I non cripply gaze into her iris. But of course, this isn't something I noticed until my mid-teen years, when I finally decided to look up some of my childhood crushes. This led me to what I consider to be Jennifer's signature role as Sarah Marin in Party of Five. I say that this is her signature role because all of her most memorable roles to come were either the same or slight variations of her Sarah character. Like her Julie James character from I Know What You Did Last Summer, and Amanda Beckett from Can't Hardly Wait. Another reason why I like Jennifer is because she's multi-talented. Not only is she a good actress, but also a best-selling author, with her 2010 dating advice book, The Day I Shot Cupid, and a seriously underrated singer with all four of her studio albums. Trust me, she's got some serious pipes on it. Party of Five was both a blessing and a curse for Love's career. Sure, it brought her name into the spotlight, but it also led to her being typecast and miscast for the better part of her career, in some well-meaning but ultimately bad films. Films like Trojan War, both last summer movies, Can't Hardly Wait and Heartbreakers are guilty pleasures, but certainly not good films. As the 2000s went on, Jennifer's value as a movie star dwindled. Thankfully for her, she was able to sustain a successful TV career. From 2005 to 2010, she played Melinda Gordon, the title character of Ghost Whisperer. She got nominated for a Best Actress Golden Globe in 2010 for her role as Samantha in The Client List. That same year, she also came in one of the best Law & Order SVU episodes ever, Behave. In 2014, she got a main role as FBI agent Kate Callahan season 10 of Criminal Minds, and ever since 2018, she's played 911 operator Madeline Kendall in the police action drama series 911. So you could say I admire her resilience as well. Last but not least, I like Jennifer a lot because she's unproblematic. She just seems like a genuinely nice person. She's never been a part of any Hollywood scandals or petty drama, even when her career could have been boosted by some. She always comes off as humble and thankful for all she's been able to accomplish. If I ever met her in real life, I'd just like to give her a hug and thank her for all the joy she's brought me over the years through her talent and beauty. And that has brought us to the end of the video. Sorry if this was a bit all over the place, but it is my first time and I know I'll get better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload next. 
This has been Andre Darius, and I'll see you all next time. God bless. I've just started getting facials for the first time, which I hear is a good thing for your longevity of your skin and everything, but I don't know if I do anything else really that's worth sharing. <laughs> I mean, wash your face.